guys what's going on welcome back to less than average gaming today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get photoshop for free so it's actually a completely legal way so i hope you guys do enjoy this one and i hope it helps you out if it does help you out make sure you drop a like let's try and hit the 15 likes i suppose and also if you want to see more tutorials in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button also feel free to leave a comment if you have any problems with this one and i'll do my best to try and help you out anyway let's get straight into the tutorial the first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description it'll take you to the page you see here you're going to have to create an Adobe ID if you don't have one already. So after you've logged in or created your account, you'll see the page you see here. They have two sorts of warnings on this page. One saying that Adobe CS2 products are no longer supported. The registration services have been turned off, which is basically why this one works. Also, it says that you should only download this if you've previously purchased a copy of Adobe CS2 Creator Suite or Adobe Acrobat 7. So after reading all that, you go click Accept. Then you scroll down to where you see your language, so they have a whole bunch of languages to choose from, so you pick the one that you need. Obviously, I'll be after the English version. After you pick your language, scroll down to where you see Photoshop CS2, and then click the version of operating system that you're running, so Windows or Mac. I'll click the Windows one, as that's the one that I'm running. And it'll start downloading. So it'll take about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your internet connection to download, so just be patient with it. Also, I recommend that if you're new to Photoshop, go ahead and check out some tutorials like how to make thumbnails or banners or how to edit things into or out of photos while you wait for it to download because it might take a little while. Alrighty, so once it's all finished downloading, you'll see this screen. So just click next to start installing it. And you have to click accept for that one. And then you can just enter whatever username you made before and your organization can be pretty much whatever you like. So probably a YouTube channel name or something like that. The serial number is the number which appears next to the version of Photoshop you downloaded. So for me, it is the Windows version. So because I picked the Windows one, I'll enter that there. It doesn't copy and paste, which is a little bit annoying, so you do actually have to put it in manually. Alrighty, so now that you've installed Photoshop CS2, it works completely. You can do whatever you want to do with it, make your thumbnails or whatever you want, make your banners. Really, it's up to you. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. So let's go for that 15 like goal that I said in the beginning of the video. Also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm almost at 50 subscribers and anything you guys could do would help, definitely help me out. Also be sure to comment down below what other tutorials you'd like to see next. Anyway, this has been Luke from Less Than Average Gaming and I hope you guys have an above average day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!